Uh, hello all. I had a question on one of my videos the other day about should you uh, inspect the headstock of machines and things and play around with a magnet on a, a stick and change the oil and things. Well, I've got uh, a universal mill here that's come straight from the docks to my garage. So I know exactly what has and has not been done to it. So I thought I'd put that question to bed once and for all and you can make your own mind up. And when I put the rest of the machine together, I'll show you the makers labels etc and you can make your own judgment. Uh, in fact the story of why I'm taking a brand new machine to pieces in the first place may be a video in its own right at a later date but not today. So as you can see I've taken the spindle out, I've had to drill some holes in the iron plugs and pull them out with a piece of studding etc. And if we move around the back there's the back end of the spindle and the plugs removed and I've left the bottom shaft in. Now I'm going to try and put the camera inside now and we'll see, we'll see what's been left in the factory for or by the factory for us. So here we go. I don't know whether the light will be enough. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I will go and get some light and uh, carry on in a minute. We've got some light on the subject now so there we go. I think you can see uh, What's been left in the headstock there? We've got some. Can I? How do I zoom in on this thing? Here we go. There we go. We've got some bits of tape or something. Let me just try and focus on that. No, it won't focus. Zoom back a bit. A load of iron filings down the bottom here. See, this probably come off the top. The piece of sealer under the shaft. This probably come off the top when I removed the cover this corner, a load more filings, this corner, not too bad, a load of rubbish uh, on the bearing housings, well it's been painted, oops sorry about that, let's zoom back, it's been painted so I suppose that's good but it's all covered with uh, iron dust, so let's go and have a look at the gears. Here we go, main spindle here, that's got taper roller bearings with no seals, okay they're well greased and the spindle's relatively clean, the gears at the top are relatively clean but you can see bits of crap on the teeth there and the rear spindle taper roller bearing again well greased but uh, I'm sure you can work out how long that would stay uncontaminated. Next shaft down, that's the bearings have got seals on, ha! <laughs> well supposedly got seals on so again these gears have started to be covered with uh, iron dust and if we come down to the final shaft well this one's lost its seal if I try and get the camera in there that seal's come off and the whole thing is dusty and yucky and whatever so it all needs a good clean up before it goes back so hopefully you can make your own mind up on this go hello guys now we can look at the overarm gearbox I've taken the top off and put a light there so let's have a look and see what we can see in there now so it looks uh, as though we've got a load of swarf and stuff down in there there we go that looks pretty good doesn't it let's see what we've got on that side probably doesn't show but yes we've got some swarf there and there and a bit there so it looks like it's come from where they drill the holes uh, for the cover and possibly the uh, tap the hole for the filling plug. So we've got a bit of cleaning work to do here. So uh, see you soon. Hello part three. As you can see we've got the machine all back together again now and I'll just do a quick scan around it this time because all I really want to show you is the name of the machine up here which if anybody who can speak Chinese can uh, translate it to English would be good and we'll go around the other side and find the manufacturer's plate here we go again it's all in Chinese so if the guy who commented on my cutter grinder video from China would like to uh, phone up the company who made this and 
tell them what a crappy machine, well not, no, it's not a crappy machine, how dirty all the uh, gearboxes were and needed cleaning, etc. I would be rather grateful. And the rest of the machine is actually not badly constructed looking at it. Haven't done anything with it yet. Um, and when I get round to using it, I'll do a more in-depth review for you. But uh, there it is, all in one piece. And if anybody wants to import one of these into Europe, give me an email and I'll tell you not to, because this particular company provides it without CE certificates, but charges you for them. So importing it and sorting it out with customs is a nightmare and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. So I would like the rest of the world to uh, be aware of what this company does. So please share this video with anybody you think might be interested in what's in Chinese machines, gearboxes, i.e. swarf and filings, etc. And avoid this company like the plague um, because you won't get a CE certificate and you'll have great problems if you import it to Europe. So I hope this is going to be useful over and out.